How to meditate for beginners. Welcome you guys. First off, I just want to say I am not an expert in meditating. This is actually fairly a new practice within the year for me, but I would love to give some tips of stuff that I wish I knew when I first started meditating. So just the form real quick. You're gonna just wanna cross your legs. It's not a big deal. So just to start meditating, you're gonna wanna find a quiet place in your house that you're not gonna be disturbed. And then you're gonna want to sit on either a couch, a chair, the floor. My personal favorite is I have a meditating pillow. It helps keep my spine straight. Because that's another thing, we want our spine straight. We don't want to sit like this when we meditate. Like We want to sit up so the energy flows through and keep our shoulders back and just have your palms of your hands on your knees. That's it. You know, I know some people are like, I want to have a feet like this. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. So simple. Back straight, head up, hands on your knees, legs crossed. Boom, there you go. All right, that's it, bye. I'm just kidding, there's more to meditating than that. I just wanna say that the fact that you are watching this video, congratulations. That means that you're wanting to create a new habit in your life that is gonna be so beneficial. I know at first it might not seem like that because you're training this muscle up here and it's gonna get frustrating, but it's a chance to learn patience which I know is my biggest teacher right now in the world, is trying to teach me patience. I am so impatient. Ugh. But also, it's really scary to sit with ourselves, especially if you've never done it. We have so many distractions. We have our phones, computers, TV, food, alcohol, friends. So many different things that are distracting us from sitting within and reflecting and saying, how am I feeling? And that's a muscle that we're training. So oh, please, oh please, oh please, be easy on yourself. Love yourself, be gentle with yourself. When I first started meditating, I could not sit still for 15 seconds. I didn't wanna sit with this person. I didn't wanna look within and feel my feelings and actually pay attention to my thoughts. That was really scary to me, so I get it. So when we begin meditating, Let's not focus on shutting this monkey brain because we have 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts a day. And you don't have to meditate for hours. Just doing 10 to 15 minutes a day or even a couple times a week is gonna be life changing. And let's start out with itty bitty goals. Let's not try to go zero to 100 because that's how you can set yourself up for disappointment and just give up. So. The fact that you are just taking time out of your day to sit with yourself is huge. And I want you to congratulate yourself, tell yourself, hug yourself, be like, yes, I'm freaking awesome. That might sound silly to congratulate yourself, but you are talking to yourself in a more positive way and you're saying, yes, you got this, let's go. I'm a big fan of congratulating baby steps because that's it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And each baby step is part of the journey to get to that destination. Now, like I said, this is a muscle that we have to build. When we go to the gym, we're not just gonna start lifting 30 pounds. We have to start small and build our way up. And that's how meditation is. So let's not focus on shutting these thoughts off. Let's focus on just sitting with ourselves and breathing. So that's the thing, you're not just gonna sit there and be like, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's nothing. You shut your eyes during meditation. So when I first started meditation, I used Guided. I know the Calm app costs money and you might be thinking, I don't wanna spend that much. But this is what I have to say, you are investing in yourself and nothing else matters in the world except you working on yourself and doing the inner work is a lifelong journey. And so that is one tip I wanna say. So when getting into meditation, I highly suggest getting a notebook. This is one so fun. That way you can start to record how your sessions are going. Because when you first start off, I want you to start to pay attention. Are your thoughts in the past, which can be leading to depression, or your thoughts in the future, which can be leading to anxiety? Now that's not the only reason why people have depression and anxiety, but I, this is time to bring awareness to where are you living most of your time. A lot of the time we are not in the present moment. And that is the goal I feel like for true happiness is because we're not living in these different places. And a great book to learn more about this is called The Power of the Now. I love that book. So now when we're meditating, we're gonna be focusing on the breath. Now you can breathe in for three, four, five seconds, whatever works for you. So we breathe in for three seconds, hold for a couple seconds, and then breathe out for three seconds, hold it for a couple seconds, and just keep repeating that for like at least five to 10 minutes. 
Now, you can also chant a mantra as you're meditating. Uh, I personally like the OM, so OM. That helps from keeping the mind that's going all over the place. So meditation, it's super simple. It's not this complex thing unless you make it that way. It's just really an opportunity to sit with ourselves, to go within, and what a great way to start the inner work. If you start to notice that, hey, I'm noticing how I talk to myself, or I'm starting to notice these feelings that I don't like, and I wanna do something about it. Well, here's a great way to start looking into maybe self-development, like a therapist, a coach, Tony Robbins, I love him. Meditation is basically a great way to bring in the self-awareness of how you talk to yourself and how you're feeling, and especially if there's feelings that are coming up that are no longer serving. I don't wanna label things as good or bad. It's either it serves a purpose that is beneficial or not so beneficial, right? So a recap, we are going to sit with our legs crossed, our back straight, our hands on our knees, and we're gonna shut our eyes, and we're just going to focus on the breath, and we're going to just meditate for five to 10 minutes a day. If you can do every day for the week, amazing. If not, that's okay. A couple times a week is going to be life-changing. And you're going to rem remember, we're building this muscle and we're just and it's going to keep increasing and increasing in the time. And if you have any other questions, feel free to DM me. I love to get back to you and support you on the journey. Thanks guys. Namaste and enjoy this beautiful gift of meditation and remember Take a deep breath and be easy on yourself.